Greetings. This is going to be a very quick review of the application that you'll be using in COM270. Introduction to Web Design. In this class we will be using an application that is free so that you will have a possibility to access it by downloading it, putting it on your personal computer and doing some of your work outside of class which will be a requirement. For starts, what you're looking at right now is one HTML document that is displaying the code that you will ultimately in one exercise write out yourself. This one right here is I just want to introduce you to this application and the name of the application is Brackets. The icon for Brackets looks like this right here at the bottom of your screen. Brackets is an Adobe product that is free. Yes, surprisingly enough, Adobe does produce free products. My students in the past have become very fond of Brackets and it's become the favorite of code editing applications. So let me give you a start of some things to see. First of all, this color scheme you're looking at is not the one that you have to use. So I will show you how to change it. Over to the right side, as you can see where my mouse is, it says Live Preview. It's the first icon. The second one, which is important, is the Extension Manager. Under the Extension Manager, we click on that, we see Themes, and we see some of the installed add-ons. So I'm going to click on Themes. I'm going to say, well, I want the theme I want is a dark contrast. I always like a dark background. You can, if you would prefer a light gray or a white background, that's fine. So I'm just going to get, do a quick install so that you'll ha have a good idea of how to add it. The one that I want to use is installed already. So let's say that your favorite is a light, you want a light theme instead of a dark one. So you click install and watch how quickly this happens. Done. And the name of it was flat. Well, it starts with a Z. We'll just go with that. But it's flat. Okay, so close it. And then you can go to go to the top and view themes. And I can select. Well, I want the flat Zedek or something like that. Done. That is what you would see. It's quite bright. I'm bring my lights out. Whew. That is bright. That hurts. Um, my selection of themes is this one and the dark soda one. Show you what um, monochrome dark, uh, dark soda is. There, that's the one that I normally use. Uh, I have a variety of reasons for liking this. The specific types of code stand out in different colors. If I put in, let's say, okay, the beginning of this is every HTML document has to have this open bracket exclamation doc type all capital letters space HTML close bracket that's it at the top of every single HTML document that's what you need and it follows with HTML and specifying the language which is not always necessary but it's nice to have so if I want to say that this is going to be our U is Russian CH is Czech Republic, uh, believe it or not. I thought it would be China, but China is something completely different. Usually, the things that are not recognized as HTML are white. So, the title of this web page is San Joaquin Valley Town Hall. Well, that's not HTML code, but that's the text that goes on this web page. 
Then following HTML is the head. Uh, this is, these are referred to as elements. So the head element, and then it closes with a head element. When I say closes, it has a slash before the H on the word head. The element is the first component of a tag. As a whole, this is referred to as a tag. These, uh, the terminology is sometimes overlapping. Generally, this is a full tag. The element is meta. The attribute is char set, short for character set. And the value of that attribute is UTF-8, which means that it will be in Latin text. It means it will be read, read on, readable on all browsers, such as Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, etc. Opera. Then we have our title. It's an. It starts with an element only. It doesn't. Title does not have an attribute or value. It's just title. Then at the end, close title. And in between is the title of the page. This part right here, that says San Joaquin Valley Town Hall, is what will show up on a web page. This part that's on your tab that says flipped classroom student questionnaire Google search. That is your title. So the title of a page, Windows 10 FAQ and tips. And this one, like Amazon's, is probably just pretty much Amazon. Then we have the link, which is the element. Attribute is rel for relative. And it's shortcut icon. Pinterest, normally you would see this right here the uh, white white P on the red circle would show up right here where the lock is. That would be the icon that the code on this page is referring to when it says shortcut icon. And they're normally known as a fave icon. Again, the next part is the body. The body is where your real content appears on a page. If we did not have from body down and we went to open this page, it would be blank because all of this information up here tells the page what to do. And uh, the only part that does not is the title and that displays only on your tab of a search bar. Okay, now body, header, image. We will go through all of these. IMG, source, SRC. That's the images that show up, photographs, uh, logos, and so forth. And what I like about this application, brackets, you can roll over an icon that you've listed, and it will pop up and show you what it's going to look like. So you know that this one works. Otherwise, you cannot necessarily be sure that it's going to work. So you may have said, well, I think the name of it was town hall logo and you put town hall as one word well watch what happens when we do that I roll over it nothing so I'm like well what where is that logo and if I'm not too sure I can back off of this and just type in well I know it's in my images folder town town hall something oh there it is then all I have to do is hi click on it and it shows up I roll my mouse over it it pops up okay I know it's there it's know that it's in the right location and then all of the content and then at the end we have we close the body by putting the slash in front of the B and then we close HTML now in the process of all of this writing which is really this is extremely short. What you would do frequently is save as or just save. After you've saved as the first time, 
you can just save it. Okay, that's the end of this video. I'm going to start another one that is directly after this one that will have the information of how to start the page from the beginning and start typing in the information and see what happens and how to view it. So that's all for now.